Happy Sunday. How's everybody doing today? Where I'm at in Ohio. Whew. It's a scorcher out here. Just understand that. It is a scorcher out here. You hear me? Whew. Hope everybody's doing well today. Um, 12 o'clock already, man. The weekend goes and comes quick. Does it not? <laughs> yes. Yes, yes, yes. Y'all ready to manifest some? I'm just asking. Hey, Carolyn. How are you, beautiful? Y'all ready to manifest something today? Is the question. Are we ready to manifest? You know, um, man. It's a power when you start manifesting, let me tell you. When you start learning, what's up, MT? Hope everybody's doing good. Hey, Satori. Oh, Lord Jesus. Yes, yes, yes. Woo Hope you guys are ready to be manifestors today. This one's going to be a very, very, very intense um, show. I'm bringing in Satori Seals today. He's going to be a part of my show. I want to talk about decision making seriously because, you know, hey Taiwan, um, it's important, man. We got to get out of this thinking that uh, just making decisions, random decisions, just doing what we want to do, not thinking about anybody else, not being mindful of other people, not having mindfulness. How about that? Not caring about what our decision making does to and with other people. So we gotta get we gotta get more more centered on that. So um before we get started and before I ask the Tory, I talked about this last week. I want to see you guys signing up for my courses. Okay? Course number one, awakening your gifts. You guys need to get over there and enroll in the course. I am doing this to help you guys manifest, but it's not going to do you no good <laughs> watching these shows and trying to manifest if you're not doing the, the self-work, okay, to manifest what you are so desiring to have in your life. You have to know about awakening your gifts in order to manifest something. So you got to get over there and sign up enroll it is a free course so there's absolutely positively unequivocally no excuse so again get over there and um, sign up for awakening your gifts you want to manifest something you can't manifest it if you don't know what you're trying to do how to go about it how to start awakening the best for you if you're not doing that i'm telling you now you have to get serious about taking care of your business and about taking care of what you need to do so with that said okay i want you guys to get over there and sign up and enroll and do the work understand you guys can't just go over there and enroll and then walk away no do the work because i'm telling you what i'm gifting y'all is is a free course awakening your awakening your gifts is a free course it's going to teach you something to help you manifest if you really want to manifest something and you really want to get busy then get over there after this today or whatever it's your to it's your choice but i'm doing these these courses for you guys to learn to manifest manifestation series isn't for chumps if you're not trying to do the work this isn't for you okay and uh while we're waiting on him to show up decision making Thank you so much for being diligent and wanting to sign up for the course. I will get that to you personally, inboxing it to you. So like I said, if you guys really want to manifest something, then understand, you've got to do the work. Okay? Leticia, I got you. 
Hey, Satori. What's good? What's good? What's <laughs> How good? are you? I'm good. I'm in the airport. Of course. You're always <laughs> in the airport. <laughs> Welcome to my show, man. I'm glad you're here. Yeah. Um, you know, this yeah. is a this is a part of the manifestation series. Um, and I know you okay. know all about the background behind this, but you're a guru mm -hmm. when it comes to making good, sound, precise decisions, even on the, oh, even in, even at the drop of a dime, you know how to make quick, solid decisions, even when somebody might challenge them for on average, you do fairly well making decisions. So why don't you tell us, first of all, I'm gonna let you give us a little insight as to how do we sharpen our decision making? How do we get better at making decisions and then um, applying them and making them quickly? Because sometimes we ain't got all day to make a decision. Sometimes we got to make that decision right. quick. So how do, you, how do you come about getting good at decision making? Um, great question, Carla. That's a real good question. Um, first of all, establish a basis. Establish a base. And the base needs to be corresponded with realistically of what you're trying to do and achieve, right? Right. So make it simple for everybody. So like, well, my, my goal is this. Don't look at the goal. Look at the result of what the goal is. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. The goal is to pursue, you know, to go to pursuit, but you want to look at the result because the result is going to lead to the goal. Right. So I'm very, so I'm, I'm always looking at the collection of results that leads to wherever it needs to be. And so, you know, we, so you've been, you know, we've been doing a lot of things together. If you notice, I always look at the result because the result um, might have a different picture versus what you think the goal is. I know that might throw people off and stuff like that. No, but, but that's true. And so that's true. You know, but, but, but the result serves as the basis. And then what I try to do is look at different elements that makes up that result. The, the, the basically the, the inevitables, you know what I'm saying? Basically the non-negotiable parts that's gonna to contribute to it, to that result. And before you and go so any further, do that, the reason why is because- Before you, before you tap, go away from that. Non-negotiables, that's very, okay. a very important thing when you're talking about making sound decisions, correct or incorrect. You've got to have non-negotiable yes. sets. So there's certain yes. things, okay? Yes. So everybody on here, if you're taking notes, and normally my manifestors know they're supposed to be taking notes. I shouldn't have to say that. But for those of, those of you that are new, get your pen and pad out. I want y'all to take notes because this is about manifestation and this is about how to do it, how to, <coughs> how to create something that you can manifest, that you can actually achieve and succeed at. Not just achieve it, but succeed at it. So what he said right. is non-negotiable. So we need to have established, before we start to try to manifest something, before we make the decision, what is our non-negotiables? What are we not uh, okay with bending on? Very, very important. Yeah, yeah, because, because you know, those become... You know, your non-negotiable becomes your, your, your safeguards. They become your, your, your watchmen. Yes. Because, you know, and like you saying, making decisions that they're on the swift. And like, you know, sometimes you got to make decisions on the swift. So to yeah, answer the other the part of your question is, yeah. So the other part to your question is, is I establish those. So that way, when that situation does come up and I have to make decisions on the swift, I already have the basis and I already know the non-negotiables. So I try to look right. at maybe like four non-negotiables. Right. That, 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 that makes up for the result in production of the result. So in other words, I look at like, what's going to make 70% of the result to produce that result? And I look at the non-negotiables that's associated with it that helps contribute to the, you know, to the 70% of that result. Right. And then from there, I carve out and I make my decisions based on that. So when a situation come up, I make a look at those non-negotiables. Like, okay, well, that's uh, this will measure there. So right. I might, I might for, for everybody to follow me. So I might rank it from zero to ten, right? right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Oh well, this situation comes up zero to ten. Ten being it's all good. Zero's like ah shit, nah. And so I just right. look at those things real quick, 
and and if it doesn't if it doesn't hit a certain you know a certain rank for the sake of ever understand i don't move forward with it right you know because it's it's, nope. it's ineffective because it's ineffective. you're non-negotiable yeah because you're non-negotiable now can be compromised yes and that's what most of us get yeah, our mistakes at so you're talking about so, okay, so establishing the basis so yeah. right okay so satori said negotiable non-negotiables is not to be compromised yeah, right you can't compromise down. your non-negotiables write that down because a lot of times yeah. we'll make decisions personal in our personal life we'll make decisions in our in our in our parenting we'll make decisions in our professional life we'll make decisions and in our self life we will make decisions and compromise out what we know is is a non-negotiable but we'll do it anyway so manifesting something that you want to be positive yes. in your life and you want something to be actually renovated that you want to continue to be in your life you want to keep here and reestablishing you have to be mindful that you cannot negotiate or you cannot even put it on the table certain people or certain certain people you no. can't just let allow in your in your environment so this decision making that you're yeah. deciding i will not do this or i will not allow this person in my space you don't bend down that because yeah. you know no matter what you do if you try to Oh, well, I'm going to let them in a little bit. And then the next thing you know, you have an issue with that same person again. Guess what? Hey, Terry, guess what? We are right back to what we had. We, we already established as our truth. So, so understand right. this. When you know something, you can't, you can't, you can't waver. You can't, you yeah, can't, you can't, yeah, you can't waver. You can't waver from it. So write that down. No. In order to manifest, it, yeah. you cannot at all compromise your non-negotiables so that means if someone Period. tries to tries to sell you all kinds of you know roses and dandies and you know damn well they're weeds don't buy them nope you already know yeah and, 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 you, and you gotta be willing and you have to be willing to not get caught up with the blind optimism Ooh, you know because right yeah, so yes <laughs> you know so we, we get caught up in the blind optimism all day. Because especially when you're trying to start something, you know, and, and, and optimism is cool, but right. optimism has to have a basis. Optimism is fine. Yes. But optimism has to have a basis. And when you don't have a basis to your optimism, then you're going to start, you're open to make reckless decisions, yes. which most people do. Right. And so, and that's why you try to be involved in things and, and, and the, the indecisions come because you're, you're being reckless in your decision because your optimism doesn't have a basis. Your basis, your non-negotiables establishes your optimism. And then when you and, and then you can be optimistic based upon the things that are referenced to in connection with the non-negotiable. Like I was saying, and a non-negotiable is coming from the result, not your goal, but your result, the results that leads to the goal. The goal only exists from the result. The goal because right. the goal can be something, oh, I want this to be a goal. Well, that goal ain't nothing if you know what the results are. Right. So what, well, is, and what so, is the compiling? And, let, and let's apply that to like um, the vision boards. A lot of people have vision boards and that's very common, very trendy for a long time. People were putting up vision boards and what they want to see and what they want to do and all that. Their, their goal, they made a physical vision board of what they wanted to do. Now, what we oftentimes when we put up our vision board and it doesn't have to be a vision board per se physically it could be even in the mind it could be written down there's a lot of ways you can have visions right, and right. boards up in your life right so when you have those things you have to be mindful that you have to all, i said this last week about the backup plan it's very important that you put in place certain things that you know as you're going through your processing and your, and your diligence on what you're trying to achieve, you have to be mindful that there's gonna be sometimes certain things that are unpredictable. Where are you at now, Mr. C? Right. Aren't you unpre in an unpredictable situation right now? <laughs> you see what right. I'm saying? Yeah. You didn't see that yeah. coming, right? Right, so right. where he's at, he, un he understands though, well, I'm not going to be I'm not going to be off kilter because I have a delay or I have something that I have to wait on or something has come up. But we have to be made, we have to know to learn to make decisions in a whim and we have to get quick with them. But in order, and I always say, in order to get better at your decision making, you must be mindful 
that you have to practice making sound decisions. And how do you know well, he, sound? Based upon results. Yeah, based upon the results. And, and you have to make sure you see the whole picture first. Most people jump to, I saw a sister, most people jump on the whim. And, some, and a lot of people are more emotional based decision makers and not right. really practical. So you have to look at the whole picture and that whole picture has to be in conjunction with the goal, but that goal cannot exist without the result to support it. And that result has to sit there and correspond with the non-negotiables that allows you to self-govern and to manage yourself as you're moving towards that goal or the course of action you're taking. Right. So that way you can see the progress. You know what I'm saying? You know, yes. because those, again, those are like your vanguard. Those are your benchmarks. Those highlight the milestones that you make right. as you're trying to move towards as you're trying to move towards that goal. A lot of people get right. caught up in time and try to do time management. Yes. No, you do result made. management. Yes. <laughs> and you yeah. know that you is don't, so You common. don't do time management. You, Even you, you, think do, about you it. do result management. <laughs> and you know, as far as with you do women, result management. We have to talk about that because a lot of women are bad with that. We have a time frame for everything. Time frame from when yeah. we get and, a and, job and, 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 yeah, and you make a decision. Yeah, and we make our decision based off of time and you keep right. wondering why we're not really manifesting. You make your decisions based upon the task or the result yes. that needs to be achieved. Yes. And so when you look at that, when you look at the, the result or the time or, or the task to be achieved, then you look at the time that it will take right. to meet that. Right. But you don't set the time right. without understanding the whole <laughs> picture or right. the result, you know, of what's really going on. And that's what a lot of people do. So a lot of people, and this is, and it leads to recklessness. Yes. And you're looking like, well, how come? And so a lot of times people, especially people that do project management, you know, as a profession, you start understanding that. So a lot of times, so you said with me, I establish that basis. I establish my non-negotiables. I know the whole picture. Yep. But I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't kiss the goal. I focus on the result, the result that leads to the goal. And then the goal reflects the result. And then from the result, I look at what is the time, the realistic time limits. Then I insert that time in there in reference to it revolving around the negotiables, right? Right. And to reflect the basis. And so when you do that, then, you know, you're able to really, because some things take longer, you know, and some people get upset like, oh, well, it's taking more time. Well, that shows me right there that you was reckless in your thoughts because obviously when you when your negotiables are off or your basis is off, you only you only can launch from your basis. Right. You only can flourish from your foundation. Right. You only can flourish from that. Okay, you know, so let's talk about young people. This is why young you have people another good point. I know I keep interrupting you, but you, you don't realize some of the stuff you give us is so pertinent. You can't just walk around that. You can't build a house without a foundation. You can't build a vision without a Period. foundation. So Tori Seals is known for canning a lot of ideas. You'll say it in a minute. That idea don't have no legs, don't bring it to me. He'll tell you in a minute. Don't bring me that idea. Yeah. And you ain't got no legs on it. Yeah. I'm like, oh, I'm offended. But, you know, we laugh yeah, about it, but it's, but it's true. true. I mean, you know. It. So you cannot but, build but, but a house without But it saves a lot of recklessness. Yeah, man. Don't, don't, that, that idea is not complete, or whatever you think it is, if you don't have <laughs> legs with it. Nope. You know what I'm saying? Don't bring it with me. I said, give it to the team. As a matter of fact, you can't even give it to the team yet, because if the team presented to me, then you know I'll be upset, because <laughs> right. it's a waste of time. Because, right. because you're talking about vision, right? So, so if I can't see, my sight is hindered if I don't see the legs. Right. My sight, don't, don't give me this goal, right? of what you want to do and you can't identify the results that leads to the goal. Right. And that's why you foundation, what I'm and I don't bring people on. Yeah. And foundational ahead, things fault. that's so important. I think we have to not skip is that you have to have concrete understanding of what you're trying to, you know, like I have told you guys over and over in this manifestation series, I have brought to your attention how important it is that you have accountability partners. You have you have done your research on what it is someone is doing, yes. very similar to right. what you're doing, so that you can. I'm not talking about somebody doing something that you desire to do and 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 structure. 
but something that someone is doing and successful at it, and then you have to step back and respect that and then learn it. Learn it to the best of your ability, not to copy it, but learn it and see how each step of precision is being made. See, manifesting something is easy to do, but yeah, if get you the don't formula. have a blueprint, get the formula. Yeah, you're going to make mistakes and missteps. So, in order to try to avoid, if you're wanting to manifest something, in order to avoid making a lot of mistakes and missteps and make decisions, you have to follow suit on what certain things have already laid out are already laid out in other people's um, projects or, or, or things that they have accomplished and sit back and say, oh, okay, so they did it this way. Right. Because you know it works. See what I'm saying? Hey, Carla. Hey, Carla. You probably, you, you probably want to move. You probably want to move a little bit because your, your uh, signal is getting disrupted a little bit. Can you You're saying some good stuff, but it's no, we can see, but we'll make sure we can still hear you. Okay. Yeah, just adjust a little bit because your okay. signal was getting Hold interrupted, on, what you were saying. We can move. still hear you, though. <laughs> but what I'm saying is you just want to make sure, oh, you just want to make sure that you pay attention to, to the people that have actually done the work. See, we don't want to okay, really do now. that we because we want to spend a lot of time not paying attention. See what I mean? We want to spend a lot of time with, you know, oh, I don't want to do this and I don't want to do that or such and such is doing this and that. They're successful. Don't hate on it. <laughs> That's a blueprint right. for you to benefit from. Well, you know, this, and this is the thing, Carla. You know, I talk a lot about time. You know, we don't have a diet for the blueprint or the formula that leads to the manifestation. We, we focus on the manifestation. You know, we, or we, want, or we want the symbolisms or the symbols of that manifestation or the accolades associated around it, the you decoration from, yeah, I'm still here. Can you hear me? Slow You're down. You do good. Okay, you're walking too much. Pause, pause. You, you, Okay, he's good. Stop where you're at so that way the signal's still clear. Okay. Go back, Carla. Go back to where you was at. You're taking, you're taking us and Can you hear me Go okay now? Tori, you're frozen. <laughs> Can you guys hear me? Hit, hit a thumbs up if you can hear me okay. Uh oh, we lost the story. Okay. So, um, where I think I was is I was just saying that it's important using um, the foundations that um, we know works. Um, and, and, and by doing that, we can we can focus more on how to achieve some things see um let me bring it back on okay So while we're adding him, um, so it's just very important that we understand that the fi foundational process of someone else's successes, someone else's success story can be beneficial to us. The reason I say it's, it's hey, Shadrick, the reason why I say it's important is because that is a very nice blueprint for us to take and say, oh, okay, so all I have to do is follow this and learn this and do it this way, then I have a better, I have a better shot at success myself. Because understand something, when something works, that's just going to work, period. It's not, it's not iffy, it's not, oh my God, I don't know for sure. You know it works. So rather than try to, um, rather than trying to, um, you know, mess up and, and, and cause all the, frustration, we have to sit back and say, okay, you know what, I will, 
I will focus back on um, getting it where, where it was. You feel what I'm saying? Um, and learning something that's important. I want you guys to get this because this is important. And write this down about foundation. Like I said earlier, you can't build a home without having foundation. Okay? So your foundation has to be solid. So when you're, when you're trying to incorporate a plan, there has to be certain decisions that are made um, so that you can, what? You can become what you need to become, right? And in, in becoming that, you also have to make sure that your decisions are not only just sharp, but they're fantastic. They are, they are uplifting. They are doing what needs to be done. And, you know, you are having the, um, the tools you need to succeed, period. So write it down. Tools I need to succeed has to be in place, period. And once I find that out, I'll know exactly how to go from there. I'll know exactly what to do from there. And hey, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> we'll will be able to succeed. You know, making decisions is one thing, but making sound decisions is a whole nother thing. We have to be very, very um, particular, I guess is the best word for it. We have to be particular when making decisions. Okay, so it's, 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 it's very important I'll try to add him again. It's very important. Does anybody have any questions? I guess while we're waiting on him to arrive. Um, let's see here. had a good point she said that uh she's always talking to her girls about this um <laughs> she said they're 22 and, tw and 19 carolyn i know that's hard <laughs> i know because i have a 20 year old i know and she said um the decisions they tend to make are on a whim and then they backtrack later she said she's been trying to get them to start thinking before acting and they and she says they listen sometimes but eventually they will get it well and that's, that's a powerful point. A lot of times we will try to make decisions and get so caught up in, okay, I want to do this. I want to do that. And we want to we want to make the decision like right now, but we can't, I don't know, what's the word? We want to make quick decisions, but we're not sure or, or not making sound decisions. But when you make a quick decision, you have to know that it can impact more than just you. So when you're making quick decisions and not being mindful of what the effects will be, be before you make that decision, it could be detrimental. So um, it's imperative that we uh, let me try it again. Keep saying that it's adding you, Satori. I don't know what's going on. But um, Carolyn, you have a great point. You know, making whim, quick whim decisions without making sound decisions can be detrimental long term. So um, I definitely encourage you to continue to encourage your daughters to really focus on stepping back like you told them and really focusing on how do I make this decision rather than you know uh, making this decision based upon um,
<clears throat> so again, you know, um, making quick, making quick decisions, and not really thinking about the fact that we can make hasty decisions sometimes, and we're like, "Damn, I shouldn't have made that decision." Um, but actually, what's important is that we sit back and we try to. Um, well, I sent this. I don't know how many times. I don't know why it's doing this. Hold on a minute. Try it now, Satori. I just added you. It says it's adding you, but for some reason, it's um, it's showing me it's adding you, but it's not really. I don't know if you're getting anything on your end or what. Did you get the did you get the invite, Satori? Um, well, Steve, you have a good point. You say you realize the mistakes that you've made when life throws the unexpected events. Oh yes, don't we have those? I mean, that's e <laughs> that's essential, right? It's just what it is. Um, So, Tori, jump off the live and come back, and maybe I can get you on. X out and then come back in. Okay, so what, what I like what you said, Steve, is that, um, you know, that you, you've had to deal with unexpected events. Now, unexpected events, yeah, those are essential. Those are going to happen regardless. And the, and, the, and the bad thing about it is we have a tendency to um, deal with, deal with deal with unexpected events is very tough to deal with you know but we have to understand that life happens things happen <laughs> unexpected stuff happens and unfortunately um when that takes place it's really difficult really difficult because you know we don't we don't we don't expect the unexpected sometimes which we should because actually you know as my dad calls it we have dance partners or whatever and so um life has that life has that you know um and the unexpected situation is that we can't we can't surround ourselves with making decisions on a whim all the time because we'll get sloppy with making decisions soundly so we have to be mindful that when we are making decisions, we're, we're making good decisions. And the way we can tell, the way to evaluate, and I want us to Tori to, um, yeah, you can send me the request, that's fine. But I sent it to you. I don't know, it's saying that it's adding you. It's showing that it's adding you, but for some reason you're not popping in. There we go. Let's see if you come back this time. So anyway, um, like I said, unfortunately, um, we get to the point where we're wanting to make decisions and the decisions is not hard, but we have to be mindful that when we're making decisions, when we're deciding that um, we want to manifest something, we must be focused. We must also look to evaluate, is my decisions that I'm making sound? Because really, you know, you have to be able to evaluate that based upon um, evidence of things that has come up after your decision has been made. Are you happy with the decision? 
Are you happy with the decisions you're making? Is it, is it pushing your vision or pushing what you're trying to accomplish? Is it pushing it in a, in a better place because of the decisions you're making? That's very important because we can sit here all day and say, well, I made this decision, I made that decision, but okay. But the reality is making a decision is one thing, but hey, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Is it a good decision? Are you, is this decision helping what you're trying to achieve getting accomplished? If it's not, then you have to question if, it's, if it was sound, if it was a good decision. And only we can look at our own stuff that we're creating and that we're trying to manifest. We can only look at it in our own in our own sight and evaluate, was this a good decision? Did it get me where I needed to be? Satori, I tried it again. I don't know what's going on. For some reason, it's not bringing you on. It's showing me that it's adding you, but I don't know what the deal is. Um, but, you know, I'm not going to hold you guys up trying to get him on but i just wanted to you know i just really want y'all to think about it is it really truly going to be a decision that you make beneficial or not if it's not beneficial or if it hasn't really um restored what you're trying to do or even when you make a decision and you figure out oh this is great this is wonderful this is where i want it then we'll sit back and we'll say, well, I wanted this, but now that I've made the decision, I'm finding that it's not really, it's not really, you know, doing what it needs to do. And because of that, it's just been crazy. You know what I'm saying? It's like, <laughs> you have to have an understanding of what it is you desire when you're manifesting something. Prime example, I, you know, I'm manifesting a lot of things. I'm manifesting my courses for you guys to take them. So when I create them, um, it, it truly shows me that, okay, I see, I, I, can, I can, you know, respond to you. I can understand it. And now that I understand it, what is it that I need to do to achieve that? You know what I'm saying? And so when I'm trying to achieve something, I need to sit back and say, okay, wow, I made a bad call there. And then we have to be honest with ourselves. We're not always going to make, you know, the best decisions. We're not. We're going to make some poor ass decisions. We're going to make some decisions that didn't do well. Don't beat yourself up for it. You're human. You're going to make mistakes. But to sharpen them, to get them better, to get them sharper, practice, practice practice and not only in your manifestation of what you're creating not only in that part of your life but in your parenting how are you how are you manifesting your best side and your best decisions with your kids how are you manifesting and 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 and, and making great decisions with your relationship your love life with your professional life with your self life how are you doing with yourself are you beating yourself up to the point where every time you get a chance, you're beating yourself up? I'm not this, I'm not that. Your decisions are what they are, period. But we have to sit back and realize, okay, you know what? Where I am today is I have to sit back and say, where I am today I, I, I'm, I'm happier with the decisions I'm making. So basically... I may not be happy with, you know, 100% of my decisions that I make or that I have made. But what I can say is I'm 85%, you know, excited about this, the decisions I make now. And it's because when I sit back and look at me, I'm like, you know, I've done a lot of winging it or a lot of winging it, I should say, through life. And I remember thinking, man, I had a, the grace of God <laughs> bless me on some of the decisions I was making. But when I stepped outside of myself and took a picture of what I, what my life was looking like right now, I'm like, this is not harmonious with what I, with what I want to manifest. This is not how I want to see my life. I want to see my life like this versus like that. And in order to take that 
decision and, and make that your, your, um, your truth. You have to sit back and say, okay, this is what I want to see myself doing, or this is what I want to see myself persevering in. This is what I want to see myself manifesting. And so when you're doing that, it, it takes a moment to say, oh, okay, so if I do X, Y, and Z, I can manifest that. But I have to know who else is doing that. What's the blueprint? How do I get my foundation to be really solid so that I'm not making poor decisions? I have people that I have close to me that will tell me, nah, you don't want to do that. Or, yeah, that's a good idea. And you have to have that. So, you know, for those of you out here that have trust issues, you better get over it. You can't go in this life manifesting something and don't have no and don't have no trust in nobody. I'm telling you now. Because trust something that I'm going to give you very 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 clearly. When you make decisions, you have to have somebody to bounce their decisions on sometimes before you make a solid decision. Are those people going to be in your corner to help you to make better decisions or are they going to let you keep going down this whole path of poor decisions and judgments you're gonna have to learn to get over your trust issues man it's just what it is you can't live in this lifetime being judgmental um or i'm sorry being mistrusting of everybody so next week we're gonna talk about trust issues because i'm telling you now you've got to get over that <laughs> you're not gonna manifest stuff if you have trust issues just telling you, I know you guys don't want to hear that, but you can't go in this life mistrusting everybody. There's got to be some people you got to put some trust in, but damn it, you got to be good at your decision making before you start trusting. So this is why I put it in this order. Again, I'm telling you stuff so you guys get this stuff. I'm putting it in this order so you get it, okay? Understand something. I'm not doing manifestation series for nothing. I am actually taking what I'm saying and applying it, and I'm also encouraging you to take what I'm saying and apply it. And then take my course, like I said, Awakening Your Gifts. I'm going to put the link in the, um, in, the, in the chat here so you guys have it. You guys need to be awakening your gifts, period. There's no skipping that step. So if you guys are ready to manifest, you got to start working on your gifts right now. And you got to do it like now. <laughs> you got to do the self work. This is what it is, baby. I'm sorry. You can't skip certain steps in manifestation. You can't. There's no way. And so when there's no way of skipping steps, there's also no way of manifesting something without having a foundation of what you have to do to manifest it. All right. I want to thank Satori Seals for being on my, on my show. Unfortunately, I couldn't get him back on, but man... That man is manifesting right now. He's doing his work, and he's doing it pre precisely. He makes excellent decisions. Through the years, he's made excellent decisions, but it, took, it takes a while. You gotta practice, you gotta practice. You gotta be very, very, very diligent in learning what it is you need for yourself to accomplish what you're trying to accomplish. You can't get by without doing what you need to do which is the work. Go over today and get into Awakening Your Gifts. Awakening Your Gifts is a free course. If you want to bless me for taking it, by all means, you can pay what you want up to $25. That's up to you. But you can just go there and take the course and really take it and be serious about it. And I'm telling you, everything on that course will teach you something. It will make you really get serious about why you're here on the planet. That's the number one step. You want to manifest. Obviously, you're here because you want to manifest something. Or you're inquisitive about what manifestation is. Whichever. You got to do the work, though. I tell you guys all the time. Hey, it's vital. It's very important. So I'm out of here, everybody. Make sure to go over to my YouTube channel and subscribe. It's Carla Nicole Wisdom Channel. Go over there and subscribe to my channel. Also, if you're not aware, I do have a solo line. My solo shirts are called Shine On Loving Oneself. You know I'm about self-life. 
Well, shining on loving yourself is very important. I got the hat. I got the shirt. I got the bracelet. Solo. Also got anklets, too. I'm manifesting. You guys can do the same. You guys want a shirt? You guys want a cap? Inbox me. They're very reasonable. Um, and then go over to my business page. It's Carla Nicole Wisdom Coaching Services. If you need a coach to help you make, make you get more accountable about what you're trying to achieve and how you're trying to go about doing it, go over to my page. I got plenty of stuff over there, and you can make me your coach, whatever. It's just a, listen, I'm here for making you make these moves to make sure that you can acquire and, and esteem into the best version of yourself, period. That's what I do. I'm Carla Nicole, lovelies. I'm out of here. I'm signing off. Best kept. Have a great day, babes. Bye.